On today's episode, Ian Happ locks up the Gold Glove Award for National League left fielders. It's the second edition of 0 to 100, and the World Series has been absolutely fantastic. We're going to get a little bit into that as well. Join us. Locked on Cubs, your daily Chicago Cubs podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome into Locked On Cubs. Alongside Sam Olber, I'm Matt Cozy. Pleased to be with you for a Thursday episode. And thanks for making us your first listen every day. We're lifelong fans taking our passion into a discussion with you on all things Cubs. And Sam, really pleased to be with you on your birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Hope hope your day is going well. And, and your present is uh, to talk about the Northsiders. Um, that's great. Right. And, um, what was one of the best gifts you got? Do you remember? Um, like you're talking Growing ever. Up? You're, oh, ever. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, I didn't really get many gifts today. I'm 20. No, I was saying ago. growing up. Yeah, no, no, I know. I know. I know. Um, outside of the world championship that this team brought me. Oh yeah. That's hard to top. Um, you know, my dad used to always take me cause you know, back in the day, uh, the NBA used to start a lot later. Um, it used to start around late October, Halloween ish, um, mm-hmm. even sometimes that. early November. And my dad used to always take me for my birthday to the Bulls home opener. So those were fun. Oh, that's cool. Um, and I would always bring like one friend with me. Um, I don't, you know, I, I always was a big shoe guy growing up. So I like shoes were always a big one. Like if I got like a hundred bucks, I went to go get shoes. Um, and of course, Pat Hughes did my. Um, you oh, know, you know what's that app called again? Cameo. Yeah. Well, you know what? We'll have to play that. We have for, to play that. Yeah, we'll have to play that for everybody. Pat Hughes we, did a cameo for me a couple years ago, wishing me a happy birthday and how the Cubs won the World Series. And my birthday it was like a really genuine thing. Well, we only have three or four months left in the off season, so we'll make sure we do that for yeah. one of the shows. <laughs> right. Right. And uh, so that'll be good. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah, really appreciate that. Cubs left fielder Ian Happ got a great gift on Tuesday as he learned he was the gold glove winner for National League left fielders. Happ was the best left fielder in the NL this season. I think it's, in a way, not close if you break it down. He was second in outs above average, first in defensive runs saved. Um, I have a a couple quotes in front of me about him, Um, but really – it's the fact that, you know, he stopped changing positions right. you know, a season or two ago. That's step one. Then step two is he planted his flag in that left field spot and invested the time, invested the opportunity. Um, you could see that, you know, there was even some quotes yesterday. That I think probably I got more rise than most just because that, that's the coaching brain in me. Sure. He talked about the first step when the ball's put in play. You know, even 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 if the ball's not hit to you, you react and you follow the ball. Right. Everyone moves every play. Sure. Um, in game positioning. So you start the game in the first inning at this spot, and then as we see tendencies during the game, I move to other spots. If the game is late, if the, there's runners on, if there's one out, if there's two outs, um, obviously the, there's been a whole revolution with the card in the back pocket, just based on hitter to hitter. So it's been really cool to see Hap do all these things, do it at a high level, do it at a gold glove level. Yeah, it's well said. I think with Hap, you make a great point about the first step. If you're ever at a game, pay attention to the outfielders. Even on foul balls back to the screen, they're moving. If they're Yeah, if they're into it, yes. Yeah, if they're moving. Yeah, obviously there's a, half, you know, a handful of guys that are just, you know, counting the, you know, the minutes till the inning's over. But right. I think this gold glove is, is, is deserved for Hap. I think it's a really good uh, um, summary of of Ian Happ in this sense. He worked mm-hmm. on his game before last year, right? He, he got better defensively. He cut his strikeouts down at a significant level. Uh, 
he, he worked on putting that high pitch in play, that belt high pitch that has given him so much trouble over the years that that became a non-factor this year. What I've always said with Ian Happ and, and why I, and, and I've gotten some flack on, on Twitter for giving him a B as in boy gray is that. Have you really? Yeah. Yeah. A little, a very, very small amount. Uh-huh. And, and when I say flack, it's very friendly. There's no, nobody's, nobody's, you know, nobody's, being being rude, but they're right. surprised they give him an A. And, and the reason why is because his OPS, I still I, I don't have it in front of me. I still don't believe it got over 800. And his clutch hitting, I, he had a very good year this year. I want to see Ian Happ. I, I still believe if if this is who Ian Happ is, this is fine. But a Gold Glove left fielder, awesome. But I still think there's more offensively. I think defensively, absolutely not. This is this is the pinnacle. But offensively, I still think there's more power there. I still think there, there's a better job with, with um, runners on. And don't forget, the, the shift situation may help him a lot because he is mm-hmm. a lefty pull hitter, especially with balls on the ground. So, you know, uh, um, he worked on his game. He took he took a step, maybe two steps forward as a baseball player, I would say, in 2022. And I would say if he has one more jump like that, he goes from being an all-star to a real star. And, That's awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with uh, with Ian. He said uh, so. He had media availability after the the award announcement on on Tuesday night. He said it's been a long road on both sides of the ball, but definitely defensively with all the different positions and finding a home and feeling like not only are you able to play there every day, but you're able to make an impact and do so in a positive way. Also, in regards to a contract extension, Sam, and you just got to really a lot of the the evidence behind that and, and the, the reasoning as well. Right. But he said he hopes so. And uh, this is a player that's scheduled to be a free agent after 2023. Um, I think it would behoove the Cubs to pursue an extension with him. Um, I know Jed said they've already started that process in his, you know, state of the Cubs in, in October. So let's see. I, I don't know if I if I see a path to that before opening day. No. Um, although if you if you wait, if if it doesn't happen prior to the first game, that it probably won't happen. Um, right. So we'll see. But I'm open minded. Um, you know, we're going to talk about the World Series later in the show, the off season, which we've existed in technically because the Cubs have been out, but the off season begins within the next five days. You know, no matter what. And so this kind of stuff is only going to ramp up. I'm really excited. And uh, Ian Happ is the Cubs left fielder in 23. I'm, I'm very comfortable with. Um, it would have to be a, quite, a, quite a deal if they were to, to bring value back for him. I'm not sure I see a path to that, but, but his value is high right now. Yeah, I think the extension thing is one of those things where I I, I see it either way, so I'm not going to give like a, a pretty hard opinion on it. I would lean towards not doing it because Alcantara and Canario and PCA and Brennan Davis are all outfielders yeah. in the minor leagues, and I'd like to see what they do this year. That'll be part of the next segment, but um, you know, I think that could be pretty interesting. Uh, and if, and if you extend half, then you're basically, you're basically confirming that, you know, one of those guys is going to be dealt here, which is, you know, not the end of the world, but I'm, I'm still, I, there's a lot to unpack with those guys. I don't think Hap's one of those guys where not extending him this year is going to cause a huge problem. I mean, sure. It'll be a little bit annoying every time he hits a homer next year, hashtag extend Ian Hap. I mean, that stuff just gets so tiring. <laughs> Um, you get annoyed by that. Yeah, I do. I really do. I mean, I, I, I do too, in a sense as just, well. Just but... like, can we just enjoy the moment and let the guys, the professionals figure out what they're going to do yeah. with this contract? Um, uh-huh. it's fair. Uh, but with that being said, if he does get extended, I mean, I like Ian Happ. He's a likable guy. Uh, you know, I've listened to his podcast multiple times. The um, compound. You know, he, 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 he was a guy that I was a huge fan of in 2017 when he was first coming up and then he had some ups and downs and, 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 you know, played, played in the minor leagues and, and, you know, all this stuff, but you know, he, he, he's, he's really close to being a really good player. Um, and, and, and next year will be a really huge year for him. So we'll see. I have a trivia question for you. Have you, have you seen this yet? 
while it's hard, there's a lot of trivia out there. I haven't seen all of it. Well, it's related to the goal. <laughs> to, yeah, I should have specified. You know so what I mean? Cubs, Cubs outfield gold glove history. Mm. Ian Happ is Ooh, the not- fourth Cubs outfielder in team history to win a gold glove. Who are the other three? Outfielders? Yeah. Ooh, that's hard. I I I know Rizzo, obviously Hayward, so, but Rizzo's first. Hayward, Hayward is correct. Um, we're doing trivia on the show. Gary Matthews Jr. Did he ever win one? He did not. All right, I'll give I'll give myself one more wrong answer. Can you give me like a like a like a modern or no for any of these guys? Modern, like when we were living. Yeah, like modern 2000 and on. No. Mm. It's prior to. It's in the 1980s for both players. Okay. Um, Did Andre Dawson win a gold glove? He did twice. Yeah, he did. Okay. 87 and 88, and there was Mm. one other player. One other player. Yeah, thank you. Um, And happy birthday, by the way. Ah, uh, boy, I, I'm going to be really upset at myself. So I did the same thing. I got, I got uh, two of the three. Yeah, and I, I, I should get this. Um, just, 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 just give me, I, just give me one quick second here. I know it's it, it interesting because it is an audio program. Yeah. Okay. So Sam, yeah. Go yeah you just go ahead. Just tell me who. Bobby Dernier. Dernier. I was gonna. Hey. Ah, oh, man, is that shameful? I should be shot. <laughs> Shameful. Uh, oh, Hayward uh, won it twice as well. Yeah, we said um, him. No, I know, but I, I didn't realize he won it twice, 16 uh, and 17. Right. Uh, just pulling it up again. All right, so coming up next, uh, 0 to 100. We debuted this last week. It was a resounding success, and now we're doing it for a second I should time. get an Academy Award. Stay tuned. If you've thought about securing your home with home security – have been putting it off, you'll want to listen up. Right now, Locked On listeners can order the number one rated Simply Safe home security system for 50% off. This is their biggest offer of the year, and you won't want to miss it. We understand that Ian Happ kept Cubs pitchers safe, whether that was from the base hit, maybe it was from the extra base hit. Now you can stay safe in your home. And that's what Simply Safe does for you. They were named the best home security system of 2022. That's this year by U.S. News and World Report. They were named that for the third year in a row. In an emergency, 24/7 professional monitoring agents use Fast Protect technology exclusively from Simply Safe to capture critical evidence and verify the threat is real, so you can get priority police response. Of course, we know when Matt Swarmer pitched. Uh, the Cubs outfielders uh, were under threat. And so they had to make a few more plays uh, this past summer. Simply Safe is a whole home security with advanced sensors for every room, window, and door. HD security cameras for inside and out. Smarter ways to detect motion that alert you only when a threat is real. And even hazard sensors that detect fires, floods, and other threats to your home. Get 50% off any new Simply Safe system. At simplysafe.com slash locked on MLB. This is their biggest discount of the year. So don't wait. That's simplysafe.com slash locked on MLB. There's no safe like Simply Safe. We're back here on Locked On Cubs. Thanks for making us your first listen every day. And uh, we're, we're, we're happy to be with you as always. And, um, Sam, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass you the ball. That was one of the greatest ad reads I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Zero to one hundred, round two. Oh, so it's my turn. Yes. Zero to one hundred. Alexander Canario or Brennan Davis are major contributors to this 2023 Chicago Cubs team. Let me define major. Okay. 50, 50 or more games played. 
Ooh, that's a little bit of a wrinkle. I think Brennan Davis might might be that guy. I think there's a chance the Cubs are like are are jeez. Super safe with uh with Canario uh, this year. Oh no. <laughs> but Brennan Davis, I think he's gonna be ready for Sloan in, in February and March. Knock on uh some wood if you have it. I actually do. But so 50 games, I could see that. What he's going to do with those 50-plus games is really hard to see. I'm going to do a quarter percentage here at 25, but I know this fan base would be really jacked up if he was a major contributor. That much I do know. 25%. Look. Look. You read the ad, fantastic. You're a great host. Thank you so much. Let's not make this an inauguration speech, okay? Just give me the number in a quick sentence. What's the number? 25. 25. Okay, great. I. Oh, there's some drilling going on next to me now. Hope you don't hear that. I'm, I'm throwing off. No, I don't hear it. Wow, it's loud. I'm going to say 40. 40%? 40 percent? Yeah, I I think wow. if what if Brennan Davis is is the prospect we think he is, and he stays healthy, he gets right, he helps out this team the second half of the season. No, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So so I, it really is just a matter of health. Obviously, Canario, I put him in there because he's at that level, but with his injury, it's very unlikely that he is. But but Brennan Davis is a you know whatever. All right, you ready? Hit him ninth, put him in center. So you're going to say 25. I'm going to say 40 on that. Who's keeping score? Ready for this? You're going to love this. Oh, man. We'll this see. is good. This is this, what is this? It's 616 Central. It's going to make your night. Okay. Zero to 100. The Chicago Cubs <laughs> will have a better record in 2023 than the Chicago White Sox. 90%. 90. Sure. Oh, that's high. A little bit of home cooking. Yeah, that's high. No, I'm a little that's bit higher giddy. than Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm feeling a bit giddy right now. So, but I, I'm not going to take that back. I'm going to say 90. I think the White Sox are in disarray, and, and they <laughs> hired a manager that nobody's ever heard of. Go ahead. The, I was you took my joke. I said, well, they just hired a manager where if he knocked on my door and delivered my pizza tonight, I give him a nice tip and say thanks. Um. I'm not, I'll say 52%. Mm -hmm. I said 90. Yeah, no, well, 90 is ridiculous. It almost, no, that's dumb. it almost ruins the whole credibility of the show, but who cares, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that um, was, that was bad. All right. Last one. Last one. You ready 60%. for this? Okay. This is for the, yeah, 60. So just give it a whisper. Yeah. This is for the listeners. Really? Zero to 100. Please leave a comment. You and me have Cubs gear in our backdrop before opening day 2023. Pause. Do, 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 I'm going to say, I mean, as of right now, this moment. Yeah. I'm going to say like 20%. So I, I I'm gonna break some news to our great followers. I will be moving really? places in late December. I'm oh gonna my be moving gosh. apartments. Yeah, well, you already knew that, so you don't have to react like that. And um, <laughs> I, I, that's when I'm going to really spruce up my place. And that comes obviously a lot before the season starts. So for right. me, I'd say it's about an 85 percent chance. Wow. What am I gonna put in my backdrop? I'm open for ideas and suggestions. It's not gonna be just some plain. You know what? It might be a Sammy Sosa poster. Really? That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, you know maybe even you could have like a workstation. It could just be kind of like a mini studio. Yeah, thing. yeah, like a very mini studio because it's 800 square feet place. So it's not <laughs> right, much room. Right. <laughs> right, right. Well, hey, it sounds familiar. Yeah, right. All right. Well, that was that was that was fun. Thanks Good. a lot. Glad you enjoyed it. And and three just unreal questions. Thank you. Um, boy, are you good at drafting those? Thanks. Took me a while. Coming up next, <laughs> Phillies Astros World Series discussion. Stick around.
We're back here on Lockdown Cubs. Thanks for making us your first listen every day for a Thursday episode, or sometimes, as I say in the classroom, Friday Eve. And Houston, we have a problem. You know that that that, that gif of Apollo 13, Tom Higgs' character doing that? I sent that to a few people uh, last night, and I really hope to do that again tonight. I'll send you one, Sam, if, if the Phillies do well again. Phillies won this ball game 7 nothing. Wasn't close. Tonight, tonight, tonight is a whoever wins wins the series for me. Okay, I think you got you got Nola versus uh, Javier for for the Astros. If the Astros can find a way to win this game, even the series up at two, then they get Verlander and Valdez coming back to back. I think they're in actually really good shape despite blowing game one. Yeah. Um, I, if Philly wins, it goes without saying they're up three one. Philly looks like a team of destiny. They've looked like one since the since game one against the Cardinals in the wild card round. Um, I feel a little bit bad for Dusty Baker. I know he's made some mistakes along the way with the Cubs and the Giants and whatever, but it's like this would be another World Series loss that really he shouldn't have. It's really interesting, Matt. The Astros, if you don't count the 2020 World Series in the shortened season. 2019 Astros favored against the up and coming NL East Washington Nationals who win the wild card by the by the skin of their whatever um uh remember skin so- of their teeth yeah skin of their uh 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 Soto got that hit off Josh Hader Trent Grisham misplayed the ball the rest is history 2021 last season the Braves are division winners in the NL East but not a team many people thought were going to go deep get hot at the right time they beat the favorite Houston Astros in the World Series and now here we are in 2022 if Houston doesn't win this series you know you're talking about one in three in the World Series in their area era and of course the 2017 was filled with controversy Uh, you know again you win one, you win one, but you look back on it. Like I'm just thinking as a Cubs fan, if the Cubs had, had, had three world series where they were clearly the better team all year and lost all three uh, after winning one, that, that that's tough to stomach. So we'll see. I, I, I hope they put together a decent performance tonight. That's leaving a lot on the table. Yeah. Boy, do I enjoy Harper. Uh, Is it Schwarber, fun? It's, 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 all, it's cool ball. for you. Know, you know, one thing I'll say about Schwarber, and, and, and it goes for, for other guys on the team, but, but Schwarber has the relevancy to us. It just You just feel better when Kyle Schwarber's on your team in the postseason. Like, it just – he has that leadership – element to him Mm -hmm. he has that ability obviously you know we we, we've talked you know to the end about what he did in the in the world series for the cubs it's just you just feel like having him on your team he he, he, certain guys just have the ability to just stay calm and, and 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 execute in the moment. And I don't know what his postseason numbers are. I know he's obviously had a, a few mammoth home runs, but in terms of just winning baseball games, he's one of those guys you want on your side in October. Be sure to subscribe to Locked On Cubs on YouTube and smash the like button and all your favorite Locked On Cubs content. Please go back and uh, watch or rewatch the World Series episode from Wednesday, as Wednesday, November 2nd was the six year anniversary of that great victory for the Cubs. Also Apple, Spotify, and wherever you get your pods on the audio side, 312-834-4634 is our text line. Thanks for making Lockdown Cubs your first listen every day. Now make your second the Lockdown Sports Today podcast. Lockdown Sports Today is our 22-minute recap of the previous night in sports. It features local experts on each of the big stories, as well as the take of the day from one of the Lockdown hosts. For Sam Olber, I'm Matt Cozy. This is Locked on Cubs.